Hello. Um, chapter nine. The test for a proportion. It's a it's a tough one. Um, so I wanted to go over some of it with you. Um, to test the claim that the proportion of people who own cats is significantly different than 60% at 0.02 significance levels. So we're testing 60% or 0.6 written as a decimal. Now you have a null and alternative hypothesis. The null is always equal to. But since this is a proportion, instead of this mu for mean, we want p. So this would be our proportion. And we're testing significantly different. So the alternative would be not equal to. And the null would be equal to. And that's why it was this one. Because it's not equal to, it's two-tailed. Less than is left. Um, greater than is right-tailed. Now to find these values, you use the table with chapter 9 that says hypothesis testing for a proportion. And then we fill in these values. Level of significance was 0.02. Sample size over here based on a sample of 500 people. The number of yeses were 64%. And so you could from here put equals to make an equation 64.64 times is an asterisk 500. That way we're finding out the number that said yes. And then population proportion, that comes from your hypothesis, so it's 0 0.6. Our test statistic, 1.825742. Right here. Now the p-value, it depends. This one we said was a two-tail, so this is our p-value. If it was right tail or left tail, then you use the other two. But for this one, it's a two tail. Um, if the p-value is less than alpha, reject. If the p-value is greater, fail to reject. So we want to compare this 0.067 to our 0.02. So the p-value is greater than the significance level. If the p-value is greater, fail to reject. Fail to reject. Try one more. Test the claim that the proportion of people who own cats is larger than 70%. So it's 0.7, and we want to test larger than. This one, the alternative is larger. The opposite of larger is less than or equal to. So it's this one. Since it's larger or pointing to the right, it's a right tail. Now to find the p-value, our level of significance right here. 0.05. Sample size, 400. The number that said yes, um, was 78%, so 0.78 times 400. And don't put, forget to put the equal sign first. And then population proportion on this one was 0.7. They didn't ask for the test statistic. They only asked for the p-value. And this is right tail. So the p-value is 0 Point zero 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 two. Um, 
if we look at the p-value and compare it to the significance level, it's definitely less than. If p is less than, we reject. And that's why we rejected.